You know what time it is. Oh yeah, baby. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. You already know. What's up, guys? It's Walk on Wheels. I'm back with another, another. This is gonna be a what? Of course it's not Saturday for me, but it's gonna be Saturday for you guys watching this video. But we're gonna knock one out today. Do a little bit of, this is one of those after work vibes type of a uh, thing. Welcome to the channel, if you're new around here. If you're back, welcome back. We're approaching 800 subs. So, W you guys. That's all you guys. Nothing to do with me. It's all you guys. You guys are nuts. And I appreciate everything. Uh, I did read the comments of the last the last video. And I don't think there was a single one of you guys that did not want to see a Eclipse video. So, we're gonna, you already know. Hey, we're going to have to do the Eclipse video. Which is going to be super lit. I was kind of excited to do it anyway. Somebody said, even if it's just for you. That's kind of how I feel. If I can't use it for YouTube, then I have it either way. It's kind of dope. So... That is something that I'm going to do for sure. Whether it makes it to YouTube or not, it, you never know. I'm going to try my absolute best to get it to YouTube. But stuff happens, you know. What if my camera doesn't work? I can't promise anything, right? Stuff happens. Stuff happens, brother. I think I found my... A lot of you guys were saying what your new bike is. And I know I said it in the last video, but I've kind of confirmed that I... I think my next bike is going to be a ZX6R, that pearl white and gray, the metallic gray. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. $20. That's how I feel when I see that bike, bro. It's so beautiful. And I like the white. You already know, so. My helmet's white, which, you know, I don't want to buy a new helmet either. And I love white, so it's kind of like a double, double dulubu, double dulubu. So today, what are we gonna do? I don't know and I'm not sure. This guy's staring at me like I'm uh, schizophrenic talking to myself, which is dope. What? Yo, that was like a dog statue with sunglasses on it, bro. What is, only in, only where I live, bro. Only where I live. I like that. Do you guys like those F-150s? Or not, not F-150, those uh, Rangers, bro. The new Rangers. They're like full-size trucks, I'm pretty sure. But they just have the Ranger name on it. What is this lady doing? Actually scared me. She's halfway in the damn road. Looking the other direction. That's not usually a good sign. That Mustang's beautiful. Oh yeah, the new Rangers. I like the Rangers, but it's like... If you're gonna buy that, why not... Why not just buy a new full-size truck? It kind of doesn't make sense. Unless you really like the idea of the Ranger, right? And you're a Ranger-specific fan. It doesn't really make sense to me. That's just my opinion. Just my opinion. I don't know if I said this in the last video. I know I said something, but... Moe's season has started, and I did my first first little few yards, bro. And it was, it was nice. It was nice having the extra money. I'm not going to lie. So, let me know if it's warm where you guys are at yet. Because a lot of people... Thank you, brother. Thank you. A lot of people... I, uh, I see pictures, and it's still kind of chilly outside. So, I'm kind of curious... Hey, you already know we gotta hit this this turn, bro. We love this turn. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't full send it because there was some grass there and it kind of scared me. That's another thing. Somebody commented they crashed on grass. I have not had to deal with grass yet. Thank thankfully, but it is summer now, so I'm gonna have to start dealing with it a lot more. I've really just been riding in the winter. Nobody's, I mean, last week was probably the first time everybody mowed, you know? So I haven't re had to really deal with that. I'm kind of wondering if that's kind of a big thing that it's gonna affect, affect me or not. Which I don't think it is. I mean, in my opinion. You'll see it being like a super bad problem for me, kind of because I'm in a rural area. There's not a lot of, and most, I mean, most of the people that mow that do a good job, they, they clean up their mess pretty well, you know? Blow the leaves and stuff. Blow the, blow the clippings off the road. I mean, not everybody does that, but most of the good guys that have been mowing for a while, they, they're good at cleaning up their mess, you know, keeping it safe on the road and stuff. That's another thing, dude. I was visiting this, like, 
it's like uh, I would say like they have plots gravel roaded out right like sections on this this gravel road thing where people can buy the plots to build houses and the other day I was kind of just visiting on it right I was just kind of like going back and looking because I hadn't been there in like years you know and I had permission to be there so this story is pretty interesting you gotta hear me out you gotta hear me out I had permission to be there a long time ago right so I'm just you know cruising around being respectful like three I was going like three or four miles per hour just kind of looking you know when you're reminiscing you're looking at the area not really you know you're not just riding around to have fun just looking you know so these people pull out right and so they just they start chasing me bro so I go down the road so keep in mind these people aren't like cops or anything and they're you know they're driving crazy bro they're like sw like speeding trying to get to me to stop me and so I'm basically I'm running away from these people bro and they're acting nut like on my my bosom right they are chasing me down like dangerous as hell you know I'm just driving like normal and they they're just you know on me bro for no reason which I'm not gonna stop because anybody who's acting like that is probably gonna act crazy when you stop too so there was kind of no point in me stopping for my safety right I mean it would have been like the most respectful thing to do but at the same time I'm on these back roads and I have no clue <laughs> what what these people would do to me you know I don't know who they are or anything like that so I, I was genuinely kind of scared so I just left and went on my way and she finally just left me alone which I thought was really creepy I don't know if she got my license plate or what but either way it's kind of like reckless to chase me for nothing you know even even since there was not a there was no like tr no trespassing sign or anything like that so you know I was kind of just doing my thing bro I was just chilling not bothering anybody and then this this lady starts I'm calling her Karen she uh cause, yeah, I mean obviously it's Karen she's at start just starts acting crazy bro she's driving in reverse like 20 miles per hour so here's the thing she's trying to block me off so I just drive past her right and leave because she's acting nuts anyway that's like a crazy little story unfortunately I wasn't filming or anything so not like I would have been talking or anything it was just kind of I was just riding around for my own little you know just having some fun checking the area out. but I don't know how I made them mad but they were very very angry at me could have hurt somebody honestly the way they were driving at me it's a lot harder for a car to keep up with a motorcycle you know so for them to be keeping up with me doing like 50 you know they're they are pushing that thing to its limits to keep up which is wild over something that petty you know it's kind of like it's kind of like what <laughs> bro? but yeah work was work was kind of junk today bro it was so busy it was so busy bro sometimes you just have those days where it's like it never stops it just keeps going right when you think you're gonna get a break it just keeps going bro and you think like you think you have a down pat right where it like has to do with the weather or something but it never does bro it's so random how busy people are throughout the day i don't get it i've never been able to figure it out we're kind of hitting some back roads today bro i'm not gonna lie i don't usually go down these roads especially on video i try to stay in town where there's a lot more going on but these are more of like my my home court roads you know these little back roads i love these man you can take these anywhere bro these are the funnest and you don't have to get it hit a stop by every five seconds let me know what you guys are doing for the eclipse are you staying you know are you getting together with your family because isn't this eclipse like like a once in a lifetime kind of like situation or is it you know do you guys have something planned or are you just gonna wing it throw some glasses on and you know be done with it or whatever I know some people are like camping they're literally like bringing campers to their family's house and staying for a while damn my blinker was on for like 30 seconds you guys gotta you guys gotta tell me okay what I'm doing foolish things like that brother oh bro I can't say it enough the grass smells amazing amazing I love it I want to go down this road but I think it turns into gravel so I don't think we can do that I mean we can but we really want to risk wearing and tearing on the grom i mean it is brand new i don't really want to 
do anything dumb. Hey, let's go straight. Why not? Why not? See, that's a gravel road. And that loops all the way around to that one we were going to turn on. I've been saving so much gas riding to work, dude, on this thing. It feels like I don't buy gas anymore. I went from spending... Gosh, how much, dude? Like... At least 50 every, every one and a half weeks. No, no. 75. 75 every one and a half weeks, which is wild. On this, I don't feel like I'm spending gas. Maybe 10 bucks. And it's it's only 10 bucks because I ride extra. You know, I don't just ride home and ride to work. So, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of putting a little bit more miles on it. But still, I mean, I'm doing fun stuff, which I wasn't even doing. And I'm going to work, and I'm still getting, like, a quarter of the cost of driving a truck, which is awesome. But I'm going to say it again. Best part of owning the Grom, you know? Gas is pretty much free. I made a whole video about it. Yo, I drove down here. It might not be on the video, but this is an old mine. We need to, uh... Oh, they got people here, bro. Uh-oh, they're coming. I'm dipping, bro. That's a mine. This is the entrance to the mine. So they got the trucks there and everything. Bro, I got a bug in my nose, dude. Bug in my nose. But yeah, that's the coal mines. But there's a lot of coal mines where we live. It's kind of one of the uh, main things that this area has grown up grown up off of i feel like there's a mine here mine there there's mines everywhere dude that rhyme bro yeah but y'all get the point in a video we'll come we'll come uh, i'm trying to think if there's a better better way to view that without because obviously there's a line you can't cross so i wonder where the best area would be to kind of look at that whole mine place Oh, bro, these people in front of me are doing something illegal. I'm almost certain. But yeah, we'll check that out eventually in one video. In one video. Bro, the Grom is like, it's like it doesn't exist below you. I did look at bigger bikes. I looked at bigger bikes the other day when I was in a bigger town for a doctor's appointment. And dude, they're kind of intimidating, bro. Compared to a Grom, I know I could handle it, but compared to a Grom, just kind of that jump is seems very intimidating which eventually i'm gonna have to make because i can't stay on a grom forever i might be able to keep my grom forever but i need more capabilities eventually which is the only downside to the grom right i kind of want to hit the highway i need a highway bike for sure to get from town to town because it would be so much easier for me to make more content more uh content rich videos right in bigger towns with like more stuff obviously more people more things going on more stuff that could happen to catch on film so eventually we're gonna have to expand our arsenal to something like that obviously which i don't know when i don't know when it could be tomorrow it could be next week it could be next two years i don't know depends you know financially really is the biggest thing i don't want to put myself in a situation that i don't want to be in in the long run Cause that's another thing with a bike bro you might want to bike impulsively but you got to think bro you can't you can't put yourself in a tough situation uh, being financially like healthy is kind of the main thing bro if you need a way just wait i know it's hard but you need to wait bro i'm probably gonna head home ain't much to do i've been chilling a little i might ride a little bit for myself but thank you for stopping by it's been a chill little talk chill little chill little chitty chatty but uh, it's Walk On Wheels. Don't forget to subscribe. Most of you aren't subscribed to my videos or to my channel, not my videos. Don't forget to do that if you enjoy. I mean, don't if you don't enjoy, obviously. But if you do, don't forget. It's been a sweet little video. I'm going to leave you all alone now. You guys are free. <laughs> Peace.